Hey guys, I'm back. I am just getting my air fryer going so I can do a little tutorial for you. For those of you that have the Ninja Smart Grill, um, I've had a bunch of people ask me to do a tutorial on how to use this thing because it feels like a spaceship to them. So um, hopefully we won't set off the fire alarms, but I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Um, let's see if I can adjust this. I feel like I have to bend down. Let's see. I thought I... All right. Let me open the door just in case. Sometimes it gets a little smoky. Most of the time it doesn't. But it is important with these things to keep them clean. Um, usually they don't get smoky, but there is... Um, every now and then they do. And sometimes mine does because I don't know why I haven't cleaned it well enough or whatever. But I did clean it. I think we're gonna be all good. Um, okay, I just need to, I thought I was on my page so I could pull up your comments, and of course I'm not. Now I gotta get there. My live video, am I on? Every time you, oh, every time you make communion crackers for church. I love these machines. Can you guys not hear me? Meredith, is it just Meredith? I haven't turned it, I haven't really showed you yet. When you say yes, are you saying you can't hear me? I, okay, you can, you can hear me, okay. All right, so I gotta get my live video up here it's not showing up for me my husband is turning on the fan just in case okay you do have sound okay good um so i have got some buns cooking in there right now because i didn't want to wait until you came on because it would take all day for us to make this meal um but like i cannot get the live video to show you guys for me to be able to see your comments i'm gonna have to look at them up here i don't know why what's going on um Why isn't it showing? Anyway, okay. So right, uh, I won't worry about it. If I can't see it on here, I'll just have to see up here. So I have already got some buns going in here so I could get ahead of the game while I start to talk to you about how this thing works. So um, I want to let you know that I am 100% not an expert on the Ninja. I do not fully know how to use this thing because I don't follow instructions, but I use it my way. There we go. Now my video is showing up. Woo, the wind's going now with the fan. So one of the things this thing touts is not smoking up your kitchen. Um, you can grill inside without smoking, and usually that does the case. But if you don't clean it well, um, it can smoke and the filter that they put in the top of it is meant to be um, cleaned frequently and one of the things that they say to do is to boil the um, filter to and I haven't done that yet so what oh well that's because I moved it over here and away from the, usually when it's over there you don't smell it at all but um, I have got um, hamburger fro defrosting in the microwave so I can grill some burgers for the fam. And I am going to make a teriyaki. <laughs> no, she don't. She has buns in the Ninja, not in the oven. Trust me, girl. Ain't no buns in no the oven up in here. My oven has been shut down. That factory is closed. Um, I do throw the filter in the dishwasher, Brittany, but it does need to be cleaned frequently. As long as I clean the top fan cover with hot water dish soap and, in and the included brush, I've stopped having issues with my smoke alarm. The top cover, what, this thing? Does that come off to clean? Okay, so maybe you should be doing the tutorial and not me. I didn't know that came off to clean. Jackie, 
this thing, or are you talking about, um, you guys stop all the compliments. You're making me blush. <laughs> I'm stunningly beautiful today. Did you know that? You haven't said that to me this morning. He said, mm, said that to you forever. <sighs> um, no, it does not get hot on the outside, Connie. So, so I, when we cleaned my kitchen this weekend, we found this little brush that I totally forgot came with this. And apparently this cleans the filter really well, Jackie says. And this will clean out the little holes that you can't get at, I think. Um, so I need to do that. I didn't say I was showing you how to clean it. I said I was showing you how to cook in it. <laughs> um, okay, why is this knife on the counter? I have got my low carb um, buns in the Ninja to make burger buns with my teriyaki burger. Um, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I need to wear contacts more often, you guys. <laughs> um, the buns that I'm making are the low carb ones I've made in the past, but I replaced it with the baking blend. I found half a bag that's now gone of baking blend in my cabinet. Uh, yeah, mom should be here to show us how to do it because she's better at it than I am. Um, anyway, I found baking blend. So I made those low carb buns that I've made in the past. I made them with baking blend so they would be a fuel pull and I'm going to make a teriyaki glazed turkey burger with a pineapple salsa for lunch and I'm going to make it with butternut squash fries to go with it in my ninja so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut up my butternut squash let me raise this a little I'm gonna cut up my butternut squash while my buns cook so one thing I'll tell you, let me get my pineapple out of the way. I pineapple on my cut board. Bring my cut board over here. Um, one, of the, one of the, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. It's, it was really important and I don't remember what it was. I hate that. That thought came in and went right up. Oh. So on the baking setting, which is what I have this thing going on right now, if you're gonna bake something that you would normally bake in a regular oven, all you have to do is lower the temperature, hit the bake button, lower the temperature to 25 degrees less than what the oven calls for, and put cook it for half the amount of time that it calls for. So if it calls for these, um, I'm out of paper towels. That's inconvenient. I need a, my trash bowl. If it calls for something, the traditional oven calls for it cooking for 25 minutes, then just cook it for 12. If it calls for an hour, cook it for 30 and just lower the temperature 25 degrees. If it fits in here, then you can bake it the same way you would bake in your regular oven. Works just like, the only difference is, thank you, honey. The only difference is, you can just open them and put them on the holder if you don't mind. Burgers. Can I have some steak fries with it? Yes. Um, would you like a teriyaki turkey burger or a beef burger? Like a beef burger? What's that? A regular burger. A regular burger. You're a regular burger, okay. Hi. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, so yeah, anything you bake that will fit in here, anything that bakes in a traditional oven, you can bake in here too. And it doesn't heat up the whole house the way your oven does. It doesn't, you know, cost hardly nothing to run this for a few minutes, the way running your oven for an hour might take. Um, and it does a fantastic job. I'm cutting this in the most complicated possible manner Ever. This is my butternut squash. Um, everybody says you're adorable. <laughs> you. 
Tony says thank you. The man, the myth, the legend, the Tony. Huh? The mystique. Hashtag the mystique. I'm sure there's a much better way to go about peeling butternut squash, you guys. I am not giving you a tutorial on how to cut butternut squash, am I? I'm giving you a tutorial on my ninja. I wanted to show you this thing from cold so that I could like show you all the things that go in it, but I would be on here for two and a half hours. And as much as I enjoy spending time with you, I don't think you guys are prepared for a two and a half hour tutorial of the Ninja Air Fryer. I'm gonna stop with just half the squash because I'm just gonna eat half of it for now. How would I know if Tony's adorable if he never comes on camera? He's not, don't worry. <laughs> I got absolutely no response out of that. Ew. Oh, I thought that was a spider on my finger. Everybody says hi, Tony. <sighs> All right. I'm just, so when I make butternut squash fries, I literally, <laughs> Let me move this back. I literally just slice them into skinny sticks. I don't get very particular with them. I just cut them into french fry shape-ish. It's not, I mean, it's very awkward to cut a butternut squash because of the way it is shaped. So it's not super easy. But I just cut them into long sticks. That's how I do it. All right, I got 35 seconds left on Meninger. Oh, you guys, you ain't got nothing better to do on a Saturday than watch me screw up cooking. <laughs> he says, that's what I was wondering. <gasps> He's such an encouragement. Now, why are you yapping? All right. All right, my air fryer is done cooking my buns and I wanna get them right out because when you cook the bread in here, um, I'm not gonna take my real buns out on camera. You couldn't handle all that, let me tell you. All right, let me get this out of the way. The insides of this machine are hot. Obviously it's an oven, be careful. Look at those buns, you guys. Look at those buns. Right. Caution. Oven is hot. Thank you. No, it's from Bonnie. It's from Bonnie. She buys me crazy things and I love her. It's hilarious. Look at these buns, you guys legit aren't they awesome i need to get them out so let me get them out real quick because they 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 will deflate significantly there will be a significant deflate factor from these why are they sticking oh my gosh i forgot to spray my silicone oh they're not done that's why maybe that's why they're still there's they need to be cooked a few more seconds bake. Um, so I need to cook something a little bit longer. This is what I do. Let me lower this. So you might not see my head, but you can see this. If you just hit bake, I'm going to put it back down on 325 and then I'm going to lower my minutes to like, I'm going to do like two minutes and then hit start. And it says preheat. Well, I don't want it to preheat. It just got done preheating. So the way I shop stop that is I'm going to hit preheat says to add the food I'm pretending I do that and then shut the cover and it goes this is wicked close to the edge I almost knocked that off the counter that would be horrible um these buns look beautiful when they come out of the oven Christy and they are good I like them um but they do deflate pretty significantly they look gorgeous when they come out if they would only stay fluffy like that but they don't um no sure the, what for the buns the buns comes off Pinterest it's on my Pinterest page, and I can link the recipe here when I'm done cooking as well. Um, so while that's doing its last two minutes, I'm gonna season my fries up a little. So when I make butternut squash fries, so you can have a half a cup of butternut squash 
in an S because they're low enough carb. So I would say you could have about that many fries in an S meal. And these things are awesome. But I, I'm gonna have more because I'm having an E. So what I do is I just spray them with a tiny, tiny bit of cooking spray before I put them in. And then I put some seasoning on them. The hardest part about making these is cutting them up. And I put Creole on everything, so I'm just gonna put some Creole seasoning. That's legit how I make the whole thing. Now Bonnie is fantastic at making french fries in her air fryer from Yellow Potatoes. I saw her video, uh, or not her video, her picture she posted of her french fries made in this fryer and they were amazing. I have not made those fries from that recipe yet. It's a recipe in Trim Healthy Future, but they look incredible. So, all right, I'm gonna keep that away from the edge. Let's see if they're done now. They are, they are, so I gotta pull them out. I'm putting mitts on even though my silicone isn't hot because I'll touch the edges for sure because that's how I do things. And then I get burnt and then I cry and so there's my buns. These, so these are fuel pull and like I said, as good as they are, they're sticking awful today. I didn't spray my, I don't think I sprayed my silicone. I don't think it has anything to do with that. But I had, whenever you cook these things in silicone, you, you still have to spray them and I apparently forgot. And they sweat. So they're gonna be wet on the bottom if I don't take them out. That is not, that one on the end did not cook and I don't know why. Great tutorial so far, huh? It's fantastic. They're stuck to the bottom of the pan. All right, I'm gonna take out those ones for now. I'll deal with those ones in a minute. All right, I'm gonna let my buns kind of settle up here. All right, so I'm going to, if they probably would, Meredith, I'm going to cook my burger and my fries at the same time, my burgers, because I'm gonna cook burgers. So let me get my grill. All right, let me show you the parts that come in this thing. So, this is the grill. I have a little mat in the bottom of mine um, to keep it clean on the bottom. It just makes cleanup even easier. These things are really easy uh, to clean, but I just like that in there. It just makes it easy. It's one of those gold oven mats. Um, but you can use silicone in these, you can use baking pans, whatever fits you can use. If it's oven safe, you can use it in here. So this is what the grill grate looks like. Put that in there. If I was air frying only, I would have stuck this in there, this basket. Or you can just bake right on the bottom without putting any of the baskets in, as long as you have this base, this thing on the bottom. Let me show you that actually. It's hot, so this base that comes, this bucket, this has to be in there all the time. You can't cook without, and you can't cook without this. You're not supposed to cook without this. So this filter is what keeps it from smoking up the house. So if you just, all you do is push it to one side. I had trouble getting this in there the first time that I ever did it, but you just line it up on this side and then push it in and it snaps right in really easy. Pops in and out. Throw it right in the dishwasher. The mats from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's just one of those, I don't know, it's like an oven liner. That's what I use. Um, yes, I will say that too, Jackie. This thing is super easy to clean compared to my other air fryers. I use the dishwasher, but even without it, there are many times I don't have to use the dishwasher in here. I'm gonna spray a little cooking spray for my turkey burger. You don't have to, supposedly, but turkey sticks for me, and so sticks to everything. So I got my 99% lean turkey is what I'm gonna use. 
and I'm going to, I don't have enough room. I'm going to take, move my fries to the side. I'm gonna take a gob of this and I'm gonna add some Creole to it with my turkey covered fingers. Now I have to clean my Creole off. Turkey needs seasoning because it's just kind of dry and bland if you don't. But, so I, mi I mix some. <laughs> what happened, Bassie? Ice cube just fell out and hit the dog. All right. These are like any other grill. You can make them fat or skinny. I like to make mine. I'm, I kind of like my burgers flatter. That's just how I like them. So I tend to make mine bigger um, and slide it in there. But let me wash my hands because now I gotta make beef burgers. How many burgers do you want, Tony? Huh? Just plain regular grilled burgers. One, two. I have some regular beef here. I'm going to make them together. Huh? Yeah. Marin, you just want one burger. Never mind. All right, yes. No, you're not going to. You don't need two burgers. I do, Chrissy. I use it on everything. I thawed this out. All right. Hamburger buns. Regular hamburger buns. All right, so. Whoops, I'm screwing this all up. I'm only screwing this all up because, um, because I'm doing this live. So, okay, let me show you the grill setting. So, you hit grill, and right now it's on high. I don't know if you can see this well. Let me lower this. You might not see my head for a minute, but you can live. <laughs> so, it's on high. I can change it change the, whoops, I'm on the wrong side, change the temp to medium, low, high for 10 minutes. Or what I do is when I turn it on, this here, this thing right here comes to the side, comes right, hooks right in the side. It comes, there's a little attachment to hold it on and you just plug it in the side of your Ninja, this little temperature probe. I'm gonna use it in my turkey. So you just slide it inside your, your turkey, your chicken, your turkey, whatever, your bone, your bone in meat, your steak, whatever. You slide it right into the middle and try to make sure it's completely covered. You don't want it sticking out the bottom because it's gonna miss judge the temperature. You know, it's not gonna get the right temperature. It needs to be inside your meat. And I'm gonna cook these to the same temperature because that's just what I want to do. But you can do, you can, if you're making just beef, if you're making steaks um, or just beef burgers, then you can, you can choose the temperature. So let's say I was gonna make beef only. You hit the preset button at the top. Oh, you gotta choose grill first. So grill, preset. Right now it stays on high or 10. Why isn't it there? Okay, preset. And right now it's on beef. And I can say I want my beef medium. I can do rare, medium. And as the numbers go up, it goes across the top. Medium, medium well. I can go to medium, medium well, or well done. Or I can go and do, it's because my fingers are all wet. Come on, <laughs> give me a hard time. My preset button is not working this morning. I think it's the chicken on my fingers. Why isn't it working? I'm not, oh, cause I didn't hit the grill button first. All right, preset, it's on beef. You can go up to chicken, which always does well done. So your food is always safe. You can go to pork and you can choose medium, rare, medium, medium, well, or well. You can go to fish, same thing, medium, medium, well. I do always do well for my fish. 
And that's it, I think, right? Pork, fish, yep. So beef, pork, fish, and chicken. Yeah, no, choose the choose the um, right protein, Bonnie, and use your thing. It works really good. So, all right, so I'm gonna go to chicken, which works the same for turkey, chicken. It always does it well done. And then just slide your thing in there and keep your, make sure your temperature probe stays in. Just put it in the biggest portion of meat that you're putting in here. When I press grill, you have to press preset after you press grill. And after you press grill, hit the preset button over on the right. And you have to have your temperature probe plugged in. If your temperature probe is not plugged in, it's not going to come up. And then this little basket, where did I put it? Where did I put that little basket? Right here. This little basket, you can cook fries at the same time as you're grilling your burgers. So you just put them in here and it sits right in the back. So now I got burgers and fries in my grill. Now, I didn't preheat this because I've been talking. So I'm gonna take this back out, okay? And sit it right here on the counter. And I'm going to hit start, and it's going to come to heat. The, this thing takes sometimes five to ten minutes. You don't, Bonnie? Mine came with it. Um, this one takes five to ten minutes to preheat. Um, I just cooked in it, so maybe it will preheat quicker. So I ordered mine... I think it might have been a special. You can get them on Amazon with the little basket. It also comes with, mine also came with this at the time. These kebab skewers. Oh, they're just regular, I've never used them. They're like regular little skewers that also came with it. This up here, I've never taken the lid apart up here. You take the underneath apart. I think I got mine on with a, a special deal when I got it, or maybe mom bought it separately, I'm not sure. Mom bought it for me. But you can get that little additional, I got a chunk of chicken in my hair. Um, so I'm showing you how to use a basket that none of you have, huh? Yeah, it's just a little mini basket and cooks a portion of fries with it. I just find that because fries don't always cook at the same speed as the burgers, sometimes they won't be done when the burgers are done or sometimes they're too done. So I tend to check them a couple of times as they cook to make sure. Yours came with it, Cindy. Um, Lori, it is, or not Lori, Melissa. It is, um, it's one of those gold oven liners that you put on the bottom of your oven so stuff doesn't stick that's all so if i do frozen patties yes you can yes you can nikki you just have to spray underneath them um i don't know why i just said that somebody asked me about spraying and i just realized i didn't spray that side of my thing um yes you can just stick it right in the in the frozen patties I do it all the time I, I take a frozen chunk of chicken and pound that thing in there it's no no I have no problem with it I do it all the time and it cooks it until it gets to the temp that you've set it at the filter the filter is inside Donna, I'll show you when I put the um, hamburgers in. It, it just could be different. I know they have different, um, I know they have different offerings. So sometimes they offer those free things and sometimes they don't. I think that's all. No, I don't have stone countertops, Bonnie. Um, Regina, I'm not real super familiar with um, convection ovens. 
I don't know how close they are to this. I know that this one doesn't heat up the whole house and it cooks a lot quicker. It takes a few minutes to come up to heat. That's the hardest part about waiting. But if you don't want to wait for it to come up to heat, all you have to do is um, hit the pre preheat button to shut it off and then it'll tell you to add the food, add your food, close the cover, and you're good. You don't have to preheat, but it works better if you preheat. All right. It's gonna come on, it's gonna beep and tell me add food when it's time. And it cooks pretty quick. From what I've, my experience has been, it's been, it's pretty fast. That's right, Bonnie. Tell, <laughs> tell him it's going to save money. The silver part where the filter is, does that come out? No, I just, I use, um, I use a little, what I like to use on it is the uh, Mr. Clean pads. Those, you know what I'm talking about? The Mr. Clean Miracle, what are they called? What are those called? The Mr. Clean magic erasers. I like to use that on the outside part. It works really good. Yes, you can. I don't know if it'll taste like rotisserie, but it'll fit a chicken. You just, they recommend like cutting it in half so it flattens out, but it does. It's because it's really hot. It's getting up to 500 degrees. Um, yeah, magic eraser. I use that on that silver part if I can't get the, any grease off. It works well for me. Regina, you can cook like eight burgers in here. You can cook six steaks. You can cook six big chicken thighs. Um, it is a good size. Like I've got three burgers and my air fryer basket that's gonna be going in it. So it, it can cook and I made these buns and I told you they would flatten. See how they flattened out? But they're still good. I like them. I haven't put the food in yet. I am. Um, you do need to clean it. They say to clean it every single time you use it or it can get smoky. You hate grilling out during the summer, but you love, why don't you like grilling out in the summer, Melissa? You could, Melissa, you could, but then when you're done, obviously you're gonna need to clean it. Is it just too hot? I love, we love grilling out in the summer. That's usually what we do kind of cold right now if we try to grill out in this it takes forever for the grill to heat up because it's 48 degrees it's not warm enough I do too faith those stupid things work on everything oh gotcha too hot to be grilling in Florida oh I'm so sorry it's warm we'll switch you can have our house you can come up here. We'll go down there. <laughs> it gets warmer than that, Bonnie. It gets like, we'll get some 90 degree days. Most of them will be in the 80s. It's nice. 70s, 80, high 70s. But it doesn't hit like the 80s until the end of July or the beginning of August. And then August and September. Late, late July, August is when it's really nice. Oh, my mom grills out in the middle of snowstorms. If our grill would get hot enough, we would do it in the snow, but it doesn't, it's a Weber, but it just doesn't get quite hot enough to grill in the snow. So one of the reasons it's taking longer to preheat is because of the temperature. Um, I want it completely cooked through because it's poultry. So because of that, it's getting up to high heat. It's probably gonna be like, 500 degrees yeah that's a bit much for me Bonnie I went to Phoenix one time for a conference and it was like 110 degrees I can see your comments Kimberly I just that's the first one I've seen but I can see it um, I was out walking from one 
building to another, checking out the city, and I thought I was gonna die. It was so hot. All right. So my my little mat. I'm not supposed to leave it in there. I forgot it flung to the top. All right. So now just stick this in. Make sure your temperature probe is stays in there. Close it and let it go. And it will tell me halfway through with certain foods that I need to flip it. And then when it's fully done, when that thermometer comes up to temperature, it'll shut off and it'll say, get your food. It tells you what to do. It doesn't say it out loud, but it does say it on the screen. So do we. Hopefully we won't have to now that Orkin just came. Hopefully we won't have to deal with the bugs out there, but yeah. We get mosquitoes and black flies. Black flies will carry you away a certain time of the year up here. Oh my word. Yeah, he said at the vet the other day they couldn't even stand outside. If you're standing on the lawn, forget it. The black flies will chew you to pieces. They just swarm around your head. On the hot top, it was like that. Ugh. That wasn't a black fly that bit you, though. That was a horse fly. You get bit by a horse fly, you're going to know it. Um, so I'm going to make some pineapple salsa to go with my... Um, what was that all about? Um, anyway, I'm going to make some pineapple salsa to go on my burger. So to get this out, my chopper all clean from the chocolate I made. So this calls for two cups of pineapple. I'm just gonna put that much. I don't know how much that is. I'm just gonna eyeball this. <laughs> We've had, everybody around us has been having their bug spray, but we, we went with Orkin. Um, jalapenos, you could use fresh. I should have gotten them out. I didn't. Bear with me. It's a ninja, Kathy. Like everything else in my kitchen. Uh, it's a ninja chopper. Ninja Chopper Express. There's a link for it at the top of my Facebook page. Where you can get one. Take you right to it. Um, so I'm going to put a bunch of jalapenos in there. Um, garlic. I need garlic. You could put red onions in here if you want it. Or any kind of onion. I don't put onions in mine. I'm allergic to red onion. Huh? I don't know, I don't have any onion. Sometimes I'll put like in a salsa like this. I need to open my other thing of garlic. Um, I could put some frozen chopped onions because I'm not cooking it, it's not gonna stay up. Do I have any? Or am I all out of my frozen chopped onions? I'm all out. I need to add that to my grocery list. A little bit of salt. Okay. So my grill just said to flip. Can you see that? It says 170 degrees to flip. So now I gotta go in. Flip my burgers. Whoop, pulled my, pulled my thermometer straight out. So I need to flip it and then I need to get my thing back in there. You want to make sure it's in the middle. Like I said, you don't want it sticking out the side of your burger. You want to make sure it stays right deep in the meat. I'm just going to start back up and finish this cooking. Hey, Marin, could you get me a phone charger and bring it here because my battery is about to die? Sherry, I know. I've been gifted a lot of these. That was a Pampered Chef jar opener. All right, 
cilantro. I'm gonna put a bunch. I'm not a big cilantro fan, but in a salsa, I'm okay with it. Um, just plug it in over there, if you would. It's coming, darling, it's coming. Oh. Unplug the light. Don't unplug my ninja, whatever you do. I'm not very good at pulling the cilantro Here. off the leaves. Here. All right, I'm gonna plug in my phone because I'm about to die on y'all here and that wouldn't be good. Okay, here we go. Are we charging? I guess so. All right, cilantro, jalapenos, put onions if you want, garlic, um, and I'm gonna put the juice from a lime. I'm gonna actually do lemon because I'm out of lime juice and like a dingbat, I just went to the grocery store and didn't buy any. Shocker, I know. juice and I'm just gonna zing it up in my chopper there's my uh where's the top of my chopper can I put it away This is gonna be yummy. This is gonna be yummy. Oh, there's my little pineapple salsa. Like I said, you're probably gonna want um, onions in yours, but I, I don't. Mm. That is good. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. All right. My buns are looking pretty flat, you guys. See what I mean? I told you they deflate. They're still good. They're a great carrier. They're a great carrier for the burger. That's all that matters. But the other thing that I did before I got on this call, since this was about, or this video, since this was about the Ninja, is I made up a little bit of a teriyaki sauce. So it's pretty thick on purpose because that's how I like it when I do it on a burger. So it's it's not really a sauce, it's kind of a jam. Um, but I did that on purpose because it just spreads nice on my hot burger, but really good. All it is is some Braggs. What else did I put in it? I wrote it down so that I could share it with you all. I wrote down what I put in it. I put some soy sauce um, alternative. I put Bragg's, a third a cup of Bragg soy sauce, um, four tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of super sweet, and um, like half a teaspoon of molasses, blackstrap molasses. I did about a teaspoon of grated um, fresh ginger and about a tablespoon of garlic. And I just simmered that until it was bubbly and then I added a little bit of glucky and I added I added a lot because I wanted mine thicker like a jam I didn't want it dripping off my burger and running all over the place and whatever that's just how I chose to do it but you could use you could leave the glucky out all together and it would make a perfect sauce for your burger but I wanted it that way on purpose it was intentional um, are what crumbly as they cool surely the buns these are not crumbly at all. Not even at all. Or are you talking about the burgers? The burgers aren't either. So these buns, I need a serrated knife to cut. These, these buns, some people love, some people don't like them at all. They're bland, they don't have much flavor to them, but they're a good vehicle for a burger because they are more like a burger bun than they're not super wet inside, but they're not super dry. A lot of times I cut them open and let them sit for a few minutes. Sometimes I'll even toast them because they're slightly moist inside. They're not like 
super dry. So my temperature's up to 160 degrees, so 10 more degrees and it should be done. That's what I like about this Ninja. I love that it cooks things to the right internal temperature and I don't have to worry, is this chicken cooked? Are we gonna get sick from this chicken? It cooks it, I don't have to keep checking it to see if the temperature's right. It's perfect. Perfect. All right, here's my plate. Um, I'm not gonna put any toppings except my salsa and my um, teriyaki. I just put my buns on foil on my rack in rounds, sprayed with olive oil, turns out great. Get some crispy, you mean, like on the end, toast them. I've also cooked, I've also, after I've cooked these, put them in the air fryer on dehydrate for a couple of minutes and it works really good. That's why you need this, Melissa. Let it, it comes to the right temperature and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry, you know that your chicken is cooked. I should get out the buns for the family. Sad, unhealthy people in my house are gonna eat these. How rude! <laughs> Woo. All right. See how it says "get food." Can you see that? Get your food. Okay, Ninja. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. My fries look awesome too. So just pull your thing out. I like I I know I don't need to look in it because it just cooked it to the right temperature, but I'm that's just me. I'm just not trusting when it comes to poultry. And it's perfect. It's perfect all the way through. It's juicy. Look at that burger. It's perfect. And put that on my bun. I'll let those ones sit there for a second. I'm gonna top it with my glaze. My teriyaki jam is really what it is. I'm gonna put it on my hot burger and it's gonna melt it down. I have a little of this left over so I can make a second batch. I mean, a second set of burgers this week if I want. Because I have enough turkey. So I'm just spreading my teriyaki glaze on there. And I'm going to top it with my pineapple salsa. This is a perfect E, you guys. This is perfect. It's a delicious E. Look at that burger. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Teriyaki pineapple burger. I'll show you these. These are the regular burgers that came out. Look at them. They grilled perfect. Perfect. They have pretty grill marks on them. And here's my fries. My butternut squash fries. They got crispy. Some of them are a little floppy. Some of them are crispy. Just because of how they're, you know, some on the bottom didn't get as crispy. And that's how I like them. Look at that. That's a heck of a meal. And you know what I like to do with my fries is I take, because butternut squash has a very distinctive flavor on its own, I think, and I'm not a super fan of it. So I take a little bit of Greek yogurt, just 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. I put some Creole in it. I told you I eat Creole and everything and I stir it up and I've got this like spicy dip to go with my butternut squash fries and they are absolute perfection. Perfect. Mm. They're so good that way. All right, we gotta try this burger. Look at that baby. That, oh, I just dropped a lot of my salsa. I gotta try it. That, oh my word, that is amazing. <laughs> All right, I'll write up this recipe. That is awesome. And I'll write up the recipe for the dip. The dip is literally just Greek yogurt and Creole. That's it. 
it makes all things better. There's fuel pulled. There's nothing in it. All right, guys. Look, I lost half of my salsa on my plate, which is okay. Because that stuff is amazing. Look at that. That looks like a pretty darn good E lunch, if you ask me. Can, do not tell me E's are boring. They're not boring. You just need to be creative. All right, guys. I'll write it up and tell you what I did. That's it. I hope that helped on your Ninja Air Fryer. The other couple of settings that are on it, there is broil, which I got to be honest, I've never tried. Um, and there is, there is dehydrate. So you can make Rashida's dehydrated um, cranberries in it. Air crisp to air fry. Um, roast, you can like roast your chicken, roast your meats. It just all cooks it a little bit differently. But just play with your settings. It's super easy. My favorite setting, like I said, is the preset button grill then preset and then I choose my protein I'm gonna have well done steak so I want to up here on well done beef and I stick my probe in stick it in there it cooks it perfect every single time so I am literally talking to you guys with a gob of teriyaki sauce on the side of my face that is super professional <laughs> oh my gosh all right you guys see Gordon Ramsay really is my spirit animal he would eat this right he wouldn't call me an idiot sandwich if he saw this. He, yeah, throw an -bomb at me. he might throw an F-bomb at me, but it's okay. I don't want anybody throwing an F-bomb at me but Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> all right, you guys. I love you all. That's it for today. That's it until Monday. I hope you all have a blessed Saturday. Listen, there is no reason to go off plan today. There's a million options. I've got this amazing burger. You've got many options. There's no reason to go off plan. Go make yourself a barbecue chicken pizza. You'll be fine. Stay on plan. You'll be happy you did. I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you can be a blessing to someone else today. And yeah, have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you all online later, I'm sure. Bye. Love you all.